What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best free content you can be earning right now in Mutt 23. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you are searching around YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team, you found the right channel for everything. Stay a while, click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it a lot of new content to go over this week was the start of the final field pass in mutt 23 the season 5 field pass and it's filled with a bunch of good rewards that you can use right now but i think primarily the main reason people are coming back to the game mode and grinding through this field pass is because you can earn rookie premiere content which is going to give you a jump start on madden ultimate team 24 if you end intend on playing that game so let's talk about it this is a weekly series by the way if you're new here that we drop just about every sunday more of a recap on everything that came out during the week so you guys can just watch this video and get an idea for everything that you can do in game right now to earn free content and then if a lot of you are coming back to the game because you were on a hiatus or quit for the year but you're coming back to grind through this field pass to get rookie premiere content we're going to help you get some players that could probably help you win some more games or at least make your team a little bit better so so within this season five field pass, you can see here level 10 and you can get these, I think up to 40 of them. If we scroll through a little bit further, you're going to see level 14. You're going to be able to earn rookie premier tokens. Basically just hold on to them. There's nothing you can really do with them right now. The rookie premier promo will likely coming out, be coming out in about a week and a half or so. We don't have the exact date just yet, but these are going to earn you 99 overall cards in Mutt 23 and also help you earn cards to start the Mutt 24 year out. So when you're grinding through this field pass uh those are you know the, the main reward honestly now there are a bunch of player rewards and when you first log in you're going to get a welcome pack and that welcome pack is going to contain a 95 overall bo jackson that card is the feature card of this entire field pass and you can actually level him up all the way to this 99 overall all of the player cards within this field pass get all 32 team chems and they also get two zero ap abilities so for the bo jackson as i mentioned he starts at a 95 overall if we scroll through all of these field pass rewards you're going to earn bo jackson tokens so you get one at level 19 this is essentially going to start to upgrade him from that 95 and eventually you'll get him all the way up to that 99 overall i believe the final token that you can earn uh, here's another one at level 34 i think the final one's like level 41 or somewhere in the 40s let me just keep scrolling to the right i believe this is the last one level 47 so once you get to this level that's when you'll have the 99 overall bull jackson that's pretty much the format for all of the player rewards within this field pass so you can see at level five you're going to get a 96 overall Fletcher Cox card you're going to earn his tokens throughout this field pass and he will get bumped up to a 98 overall once you get all of his tokens I believe the final one comes for him within the like around the, the level 30 31 I believe it is so uh, that's one of the player rewards the next one is going to be Chase Young so you're going to get his base 96 overall card at level 13 as you level up through this field pass you'll get Chase Young tokens he eventually can get upgraded to a 98 overall as well and again I want to stress all 32 team chems and get two zero ap abilities that's going to make the cards a lot better than they are basically they're 99 overalls and then the third player or actually the fourth player if you count bo jackson is going to be derrick henry at level 16 you're going to earn a 97 overall derrick henry quarterback item and the same thing applies you're going to earn the derrick henry tokens eventually this card can be upgraded to a 99 overall card he'll get the god stack of abilities for quarterbacks for only two ap the only problem is he has a generic one release if they would have gave him slinger one or slinger three it would have made the card that much better but two zero ap abilities all 32 team cam so if you scroll through the rewards you'll see the tokens for these upgrades you'll see the rookie premiere tokens there's a bunch of random packs you know your game day packs elite packs all of that stuff there's some coin rewards in there as well if you scroll towards the back half of the rewards level 45 you get 50k at level uh, 48 you get 75k you get a Madden 24 strategy item. There's also these tokens in here that will allow you to add a team chem to any rookie premier player of your choice. 
for Madden 24. So again, when you earn these, all you can really do is hang on to them, but they will play a part later on in uh, the, the Rookie Premier Promo. Level 54, you get 100,000 coins. And then finally, at level 55, you get any golden ticket of your choice. It's a non b and pack, so you can sell the card or you can pick the best one available. And that's pretty much the Season 5 Field Pass. Now, of course, to level it up, there is no secret about this. All you have to do is complete the objectives. There's no hidden method or anything of that nature. So you have your statistical objectives. Doing your dailies is extremely important because if you get up to 10 dailies, you're going to get this 99 overall J.K. Scott. It's a 99 overall punter. In the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make your team that much better, but it will help you get to a full 99 overall, and he gets all 32 team chems. Same thing at the level are the 15-day daily objective reward. You're going to get this 99 overall Evan McPherson, a 99 overall kicker. This one will definitely help you win some games, especially with two zero AP abilities, and he's also going to get 32 team chems. Uh, for the additional daily objectives, you're going to get XP, but you're also going to get a bunch of random packs. So doing your dailies is definitely worth it and important. You got your statistical objectives. If you completed the Season 5 XP token and the Season 4 field pass, make sure you redeem that. That's going to give you 20k XP. It's something you cannot earn now, so if you didn't get it in the Season 4 field pass, it's way too late. Uh, and those are the rewards within the Season 5 field pass, but there are different ways to level up through this field pass by earning XP in the competitive pass and the mold breakers field pass so if we jump over to the competitive pass it's going to work the same that it's worked all year if you're new here you're probably not going to understand it but most of you probably will if you scroll through the rewards there's packs there's coins there's strategy items uh there's also xp so if you look at the level eight reward you get twenty five thousand season xp towards the season five field pass don't be discouraged by the logo here ea is just slow on updating this as always but this will give you season five xp and then you get more of that at level 12. There's another another 25k reward. Scroll down a little bit further at level 17, you get 50k. This is a really nice boost. I earned this one on my No Money Spent Squad last night. Jumped me up to level 13. So going through this field pass is going to get you season 5 XP. Also, there's uh, one very good reward. At level 11, you get a 97 overall BND NFL Draft Fantasy Pack. This is not the very good reward. Again, if you've been absent for the game for a few months, this one will probably help you. And down below in the comment section, we are going to link you to a video we put out going over the best 97 overall cards to take out of this pack. The good reward from this competitive pass this week, and basically you have about a week left to grind through it, is this 99 overall Cooper Cup. Very good card. Attributes are great. He can play as an outside receiver. He can be a slot receiver, but he also gets two zero AP abilities, which is a big draw for this card. The reason why a lot of people are grinding through this, I've seen a lot of people earn this card after just one week because it's a very good one. So the comp pass is going to help you on the season five field pass. You're going to get some coins, some packs, and you can get a 99 overall Cooper Cup. The last field pass is going to be the Mold Breakers field pass. Not very exciting, to be honest. It's a two part promo part two is going to come out this upcoming thursday but the good thing about this field pass is again you can earn season five xp so you see at level six you get 30k if i go back at level three you get three uh 25k as well so this one is going to help you progress through that field pass there's also coin rewards there's also 93 plus packs there's also 298 overalls that you can earn so the first one is uh, able to be achieved right now if you're really grinding through this pass at level 10 you get a 98 overall hero of your choice we did put out a video a couple days ago going over the best 98s to choose from this pack so make sure you check that one out uh if you're undecided on who you want to go with or you need some help there and once you max out this field pass and we'll link that video down below in the comment section by the way once you max out this field pass you get another 98 now because it's a two-part promo this pack will likely be updated with the part two 98s as well and it's a non B and D. To build a 99 overall ultimate player, you need 198 and 199. This would be one half of what you need to build that out. So it could help you in that sense to, to getting an even better player, or you can sell this card on the auction house and make some coin off of it. And once part two comes out, we'll drop an updated video on the best 98s to take from this pack. We're gonna close the video out by going over some solo challenge stuff that you can do to earn free cards right now. And I think the latter half of this video is really gonna 
going to be for the people who are coming back into the game and are looking to get some better players because they just haven't played in a very long time. One thing that's going to help you out that I didn't mention earlier in the Season 5 Field Pass is very early on at Level 4, you have a strategy item that gives you plus 7 to speed, jumping, and acceleration. So again, if you have a bunch of older, outdated players, this won't make them the top tier players, right? They're not going to be the best of the best cards, but adding 7 speed and acceleration to a card that maybe came out in December is going to bump them up into the higher 90s and going to make them usable at least at bare minimum in solo challenges and solo battles. Last week, EA gave us a fan appreciation promo, which I didn't feel very appreciated by it. They took away the best content you can earn for free after just one week. So unfortunately, if you're watching this now, you've missed out on that opportunity. There are solo challenges you can play right now that will earn you a 97 overall Debo Samuel, and they are very straightforward. You play through the solos, you get milestone stars, you get up to 60 stars, which will probably only take you maybe an hour at most. Uh, you're going to get this 97 overall fan appreciation Debo. It's actually not a bad card. It could have been a lot better, should have been a 99 at this point in the year, but if you need a receiving back, he's going to be a pretty good option there for you. Good in the run game and the catch game if you're throwing out of the backfield there so a free card you can earn very very quick you can play through the mold breaker solos but they're only going to give you xp towards that field pass there's no player rewards within those uh theme team gauntlet solos have 92 plus packs if you want to go after those uh the block battles and stoop strike solos do have a 97 overall uh backyard ballers player that you can earn for free the aanhpi heritage month is actually a good starting point again if you've just picked up the game recently or you You've come back to it after a long hiatus because you can earn five 96 overall cards from this solo or from these solos. You basically have to earn a lower overall version of the player by beating their solo string. And then once you earn that one, you put it into your lineup and knock out objectives with them in your lineup that you can find under the mission section. And that will give you a 96 overall version of all of these players. I did a deeper, longer breakdown on this whole promo. So if you guys are just coming back to the game, go check out that video. We'll link it down. Down below in the comment section but as i said pretty good starting point to get a bunch of 96s that are really easy the nfl draft solos contain a free 97 overall card if you uh, get milestone stars in there you have the ring of honor solo sugar rush and free agency and game changers all give you 96 overall cards for free if you want to play through those the team diamond solos if you get to 200 stars give you a great player so if you look at the milestone rewards on my main team i still have yet to earn this uh but it's isaiah palomao 90 overall card that gets all 32 team chems he's just continued to make play after play after play on my no money spent squad just as recent as last night he made a huge play for me so this is a great card to go after if you want to grind through some solos to get it and then finally we have the ultimate legend solos which update each and every week if you play through all of these you can get up to two free 99 overall non bnd ultimate legends it's pretty straightforward with these you're going to play through the solos if we look at week 18 for example each solo that you beat, you're going to earn a loyalty token. You need 125 tokens to trade in for a free 99 overall ultimate legend. So you can get six tokens by beating these six solos. You're also going to unlock a hidden seventh solo once you beat these six. That would appear at the bottom of the list. Once you beat that solo, if you read the overview, you're going to get your choice of either a 93 overall LTD version or a 93 overall version of this week's LTDs or five more tokens. Take the tokens every time. So you get six tokens for beating the solos another five for beating the hidden seven solo and then you're going to earn a milestone star for every solo that you beat and if you look at the milestone rewards you're going to continue to earn more packs that give you more of those loyalty tokens every time you reach one of these milestones and again 125 of them will equal a free ultimate legend you can earn up to two of those just by grinding through the solos and that's it that's everything you can do right now to earn the best free content in mutt 23 thank you guys for tuning in my name is popular stranger i'm out peace